Welcome to lecture 24. In this lecture, prior going towards uh, working with sensors, we must know that what my sensor value is actually printing. Okay. What value we are receiving from the sensor is very important to develop the application. Okay. So, in this regard, uh, we will be discussing about one serial port terminal application called cool term. There are other application as well, but we have considered cool term in this particular lecture. So, in this lecture, I will talk about cool term, the configuration and of course, the demonstration. See, uh, when uh, we were using Arduino board, in that uh, there is a serial monitor. So, we just need to uh, provide that connection, okay? serial connection, we have to create that object and through that object we can directly print it. But in STM board this is not available. So, for that purpose you need uh, to print the value in some hyper terminal. Okay? So, the sensor data depends on connection as well as the noise as we need to check the value of the sensor. So, at every point of the time we need to check what value we are receiving from that sensor. So, the value must be printed on the screen. To print the value on the PC screen we need a communication channel. So, a communication channel must be built from the device that is the STM board to the PC. Okay. So, a serial communication link between the PC and the microcontroller is used to transfer data from microcontroller to PC. That is what we will be doing. So, we will be connecting uh, the microcontroller using the USB cable and then we will be establishing a connection with the PC and then in the PC screen we will uh, print the value. The software tools such as cool term or Terra term can be used to establish the serial communication and to print the data on the screen. So, let us see that. So, what is a hyper terminal? It is a software tool that enables serial communication between a desktop or a laptop and the microcontroller and are termed as hyper terminal tool. So, these are some examples one is cool term, one is Terra term, we will be working with cool term. So, for our experiment it is required to ensure that there is a hyper terminal installed in the computer. So, this will enable the serial data communication with the microcontroller and this hyper terminal connection in the present context shall be made using this USB port. So, what we are essentially doing here is that we will connect first the device the microcontroller with uh, using the USB to our PC. Then we will use one hyper terminal which we will set with the same baud rate with the port through which the microcontroller is connected with the PC. So, we need to check that. Okay, which port? There can be many ports. So, we need to make sure that the port in which the microcontroller is connected with the PC, the same port is selected by that hyper terminal uh, software. Okay. So, the first thing when we use cool term, uh, so you have to do the following. It is uh, available on a wide variety of platform can download it uh, from several sites. So, I have given these two representative sites. Uh, these are available from other places. So, after extracting the file, uh, we shall get this cool term.exe file and this will be used for the serial communication between the PC or laptop and the STM32 kit. Okay. So, please uh, if you want to use this hyper terminal, download from this particular link, extract it and then you can use it with STM. Now, for setting the cool term you know, for proper data communication, proper settings have to be made on the hyper terminal software. Uh, 
we will explain you the steps for the cool term. Now, the default serial configuration in the cool term is 9600 baud rate and 8 bits. So, if you want to change that, you have to do the change, but for this we need not have to change. If you have not set any baud rate in the program, then no need to change on this, else it can be set to match with the program. Okay. So, this setting must be done prior to using this cool term. Now, once you open the cool term, you will get a screen like this and then you have to go to this option. So, once you go to this option, you will find this port COM 11 here. So, it depends, it is 11 for this example maybe, but it depends on to which port it is connected in your machine. So, please make sure you check that and accordingly connect to that particular COM port. And this is 9600 and press OK for the configuration. Please make sure to do this configuration prior to using cool term. Now, this is an example that uh, we will be printing. So, instead of this example, I will be also showing you by connecting it with one of the sensor that we will be using in this, uh, in this week in the subsequent lecture in this particular week. Okay? So, once you write a code, you make the serial communication. Uh, the serial communication will be made using this object that is serial PC, USB TX and USB RX and here in this case we are just printing some value okay, from the microcontroller. But in general case what we will be doing, we will be printing the sensor value. Okay. This is really very important that what value we need to print it. So, we will be printing the sensor value. This is how the output will be shown. In this case, the output is just it is getting incremented. So, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and if you uh, this is just a screenshot that uh, we have shown, but uh, if you want to print the sensor value accordingly it will go on printing and you can put a delay basically. So, such that the values will get printed one by one by one with certain delay. Okay. Now, I will be showing you uh, the configuration. Okay. I have already installed a cool term and this is how it goes. Okay. So, basically um, you have, you can disconnect it and then again you can connect it. Okay. So, just a second I will just make the connection first. So, I will just, I will just compile it. And then I have to, I have already told you how you will dump the code. So, I am going to the download folder where the code is available, which I will dump it in this. And then I will, it is not showing up actually. So, I will disconnect and then again connect. Okay, so, this is uh, where uh, you can see that we are printing the value of LDR. I will show you the connection that I have made. I uh, will clear the data such that, so this is printing some value, LDR is, it is get, getting some value. This value is received from the analog pin and after analog to digital conversion, it is showing this digital value. Now, uh, uh, I will I will just show you the connection diagram here. Okay, so now you see this is the LDR. Okay, so this is the LDR. Okay, so this is the LDR. How I have made the connection? 
later when I discussed about LDR in detail, I will discuss the connection, but here the straightforward thing, one part, one point of the LDR is connected to BCC, another point of the LDR through a resistance is connected to ground. Okay. This is what we have done and we have seen that what value we are receiving. Now, what I will do, you see that from this point, we have got the analog input into this A1 pin. Okay. So, we have got the analog input from here to A1 pin. What I will do basically now is that I will put this bright light in this LDR. Okay. I have put, put some bright light and slowly, slowly I will take away the light okay. and I will show you the screen where the value changes. Okay. Now, you see. So, I will first clear out. So, you, uh, so now I will show you the screen. I have cleared out the data. Now, see it is printing 1. If you can see it is printing 1. Okay, the maximum value, the range of uh, the digital output is 0 to 1. So, it is printing 1. Now, slowly, slowly I will take away the light. Okay. Okay. Now, see what value it is printing. Now, it is printing 0.8. So, the value from 1 has been reduced to 0.8. Now, I will put my hand there. Okay. Once I put my hand there, you see what value it is getting printed. Now, it is getting printing 0 0.6. Okay. So, slowly, slowly the value is getting decreased. Now, I am putting little more hand. So, now it is coming to 0.4 okay. and finally, I have put my hand here okay. and now you see that it has been reduced to 0.2. Okay. So, I will just clear out the data once more such that it is visible to you. So, you can see that how various levels of LDR, I mean depending on the ambient light, how the value of this LDR changes. I will explain you in detail when I show uh, with multimeter in the experiment in the later week, in this week, later lectures in this week, but you can see this. Now, again I will remove my hand okay? and you see it is now showing 0 0.8 and if I put again this light, okay, this bright light, it will become the maximum that is 1. Okay. So, this the showing this experiment, uh, so this is all about the experiment. So, we have used cool term to connect with the microcontroller and to display the some value, some any value that we are receiving from the microcontroller into this PC. So, prior uh, to that, I will just uh, show you the code uh, that uh, that is there for this one. You 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 already come across with uh, the the codes, how you have to download the code, how you have to put the code into the STM board. Now, here first you see we have to make this connection serial PC, USB TX and USB RX. This is the first thing you have to do and here we are reading an analog value. We will see in the subsequent weeks that we will be using or reading many analog values with various sensor when we connect with temperature sensor with LDR. Here we have connected with uh, one of the with one of the analog pin that is A1 the LDR and we are receiving the value using analog underscore value. This is the object that we have created corresponding to A1 pin dot read. It will read the value and we are simply printing it using the object that we created using the serial connection PC dot printf the value of LDR MES underscore R. This is the variable where we are storing the 
analog value. We are waiting for 2 seconds and again we were printing it. That is what we have shown you in the code. So, this is how you have to use a hyper terminal uh, using uh, STM board. Again I am saying for Arduino it is straightforward. You can directly see it in the serial monitor. But here as it is not available, you have to use one of these serial monitors that I have discussed just now. Thank you.